Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing kind of a different video I've never done before. So I did have a suggestion to do a YouTube video about things that don't sell very well on eBay. And I was tossing around the idea and I was like looking through my inventory and I'm like, I think I can make a video like this. So I just want to put a disclaimer on this video that every reseller is different and what doesn't sell for me doesn't necessarily mean that um it wouldn't sell for you uh just you know there are some things i see people sell and i have a hard time selling those same things so it just all depends on you know the person the people who are purchasing stuff you know who's auctions they're seeing that kind of thing you know who might have the better deal on shipping yada 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 like i could go on there's all sorts of reasonings why um someone might be able to sell something um that someone else is having a hard time selling type of thing so i went through some of my inventory and i gathered 10 actually i think i have 11 things here 11 things that have been kind of in my inventory for a while that I'm having a hard time selling. And all of these pieces that I'm going to share with you, I have listed for $9.99, which I don't think is all that much to ask for something. I mean, 10 bucks, it's, you know, fairly affordable, I would think to most people. Um, so I don't know why these things aren't moving, but I do, I am going to go through everything, kind of just talk about like, I'll let you guys know how many watchers the item has and why maybe I picked it up to begin with and that kind of thing. So at the end of the video, I'd like to see like comments from you guys of things like if any of this stuff you have sold um maybe what price you sold it at just in case maybe my nine dollars and 99 cents is too much to ask for it but all of this inventory right here i am so on the verge of just donating or putting it out in you know a future yard sale of my own just to get it out of my inventory since it doesn't seem to be going anywhere uh so the first thing that i have is a pyrex item so I have this Pyrex Crazy Daisy uh, Creamer and Sugar Bowl. So, you know, Pyrex, I always thought, you know, Pyrex sells. Like, you always hear these great sales of Pyrex pieces and that kind of thing. So I didn't think these would have, you know, a hard time going. But I've been sitting on these for quite a while these sugar and creamers have 14 watchers 14 watchers and i still can't sell them at a price of nine dollars and 99 cents so if i were to ever come across these again while out thrifting or yard selling i would stay away stay away from these pyrex crazy daisy sugar and creamer because i cannot get rid of these <laughs> so that was a surprising one for me. Like I really thought these would go and I thought that they would go kind of quickly. So it just goes to show you, not all Pyrex is good Pyrex kind of thing. All right, so next thing is a mug. And mugs are super easy to find and you can usually find them at a very cheap price, especially at yard sales, usually for a quarter 50 cents, that kind of thing. So I found this one and I thought it was so cute. It's got this adorable kitty cat on and the tail actually looks like it's part of the handle. Um, it is marked Japan on the bottom, so it is a vintage mug. I thought for sure that this would sell pretty quickly. I mean, it's a cat. A lot of people like cats, collect cats. And it was just unique. Um, I thought the tail as the handle was the most adorable thing ever. So this currently has six watchers for sale at $9.99. And nobody, nobody seems to want it. So again, if I would ever come across this type of mug um, while out and about, I would just steer clear of it because it's not... <laughs> 
it's not selling and it's not selling very fast. So again, just a surprising thing to me, um, just because, you know, of what it is and stuff like that. So, but for whatever reason, nobody wants it at $9.99. Next thing I have, again, I thought for sure would go pretty quickly. I have this set of these vintage, they are marked Japan, little ceramic mama poodle dog with her two babies. And these are on like little chains, like they're chained to her um, collar. I'm trying to like show you guys in a way that they're not like clanking together. Um, but I just thought these were so cute. They still had their chains attached. They're in really nice condition. They're vintage, um, very like kitschy looking, which, you know, that kind of stuff always seems to sell, I always thought. So I thought for sure this little set would go pretty quickly and it's just been sitting. So th these currently have seven watchers and I have them priced at $9.99 and they just aren't going anywhere. <laughs> So when I come across these types of little ceramic vintage Japan figures that are attached, I don't really pick them up very often. Like there's got to be something more to them. Like I recently had gotten a lady with some poodles attached, but she was like spaghetti trim. So she had a little more going for her and she did sell. Uh, but these little poodles, for whatever reason, nobody seems to want them. So I thought that one was kind of a weird one as well. Next thing I have is just this random glass. So I guess I can understand maybe why this hasn't sold. This is a Coca-Cola glass. It is amber colored, kind of like a goblet. It's pretty heavy, um, definitely has some weight to it. I thought it was interesting when I picked it up because of the color of it. Typically when you come across, you know, the drinkware glasses, they're usually clear. So I thought this amber colored one maybe had a little more something going for it, that kind of thing. That's why I picked it up to begin with. Um, this here has two watchers. I have it for sale for $9.99, but it's just not going anywhere. So I don't know if maybe I had more than one, if it would sell then, but I definitely would not pick these up again. <laughs> Next item is also a drinking vessel, if you will. This is a tiki mug. I always heard tiki stuff sells, tiki this, tiki that, um, just tiki was hot and to pick it up when you see tiki stuff. Well, I've had this tiki mug sitting for quite a while and it's going nowhere. It's really nice. It's a heavy ceramic, like this has some good weight to it. It's double sided. It's just so well made. Um, there is no marking on it. So I, you know, I don't know necessarily who made it or where it came from originally. Uh, this currently has four watchers. I have it listed for $9.99, but no takers. So I definitely feel like when I come across Tiki stuff, I'm always kind of like, uh, because I still have this and it's not going anywhere. And I think it's a pretty nice piece. So um, definitely not all Tiki is created equal. So that's another one. All right, this next item is a Wilton, kind of like a cake pan. It's a Heart Pops cookie pan. So it makes four heart-shaped cookie pops. Like you would stick your little um, stick right in here and then pour your batter and it would make a cookie pop. So this here has one watcher. I, had, I have it for sale for $9.99, it's brand new. It's still in its original cardboard packaging and its original like plastic sleeve, so never used. Um, so I'm having a hard time selling this as well. I don't know if it's because it's too specific. Um, so it's definitely, you know, like Valentine's Day-esque. Um, so again, Wilton stuff, I kind of figured would go quickly. I mean, some Wilton items, especially molds, you know, are, pricey themselves in the store so when I had found this it's like okay you know Wilton that should sell nope still sit, sitting on this guy here <laughs> so again might be too specific maybe Valentine's Day stuff just isn't quite as hot 
as, you know, some other holidays. So next item I have is a Fenton piece. So again, Fenton, you hear Fenton and, you know, um, a lot of Fenton things can be on the pricey side. Now this is white milk glass, which, um, some people say is no good and doesn't sell well. And then other people say that it's coming back around and that kind of thing. And I've sold other milk glass things before, so I do know some of it sells. However, I cannot for the life of me sell this Fenton ashtray. It's a white hobnail milk glass Fenton ashtray. It is, you know, marked on the bottom Fenton. And it really, you don't necessarily have to use it as an ashtray. You can use it as like a very shallow, like trinket box kind of thing. It's got a nice heavy weight to it. Um, this has a whopping 14 watchers. I have it listed for $9.99 and I cannot get rid of it. <laughs> you would think out of 14 people, someone would buy it, but nobody wants it. So when I come across Fenton, especially the white pieces, I am like super duper specific with what I buy because I do have a hard time pushing some of this um, white milk glass Fenton out of my eBay store. Next I have a candle holder. This is a votive candle holder. It's gorgeous. It's a swan. It's absolutely beautiful. It is marked Shannon Crystal on the bottom. And I, when I saw it, I just thought it was just gorgeous. I thought it was so pretty. I figured, you know, that should probably sell fairly quickly just because it's beautiful. But I cannot sell it. <laughs> this doesn't even have one watcher. Zero watchers on this thing. I've had it for quite a while. I have it listed for $9.99 and no takers. So it's just not going anywhere. Another thing I have is this here, and this is a Temptations ceramic little, um, what is it? This is a 12 ounce, kind of like loaf pan. It is ceramic. It has its original lid on it. Really cute kind of Christmas scene to it. Um, this has one watcher. I have it listed for $9.99 and just no takers on it. Um, I just always thought Temptations was a good brand. Um, you know, it can be pretty pricey. I know at the auction, people tend to gobble it up. So I didn't think this would have a hard time selling and I can't sell it. <laughs> so, you know. There's that. All right, so apparently I only do have 10 things. I thought I had 11. Uh, but regardless, the last thing that I have to share is this here. I thought this was super cool, definitely unique. This is a, um, it's like a postcard, but I think they also called them lobby cards back in the day. It is a scene from, this is a reproduction. Had it not been a reproduction, I probably would have sold it by now. Um, but this is a scene from The Seven Year Itch uh, with Marilyn Monroe. So just really awesome. It's very large, so easily frameable kind of thing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like it kind of looks like a postcard type of thing on the back. So this currently has no watchers. Um, I have it listed for $9.99 and no takers. So I don't know if... I'm not really sure how popular Marilyn Monroe stuff is to begin with. Maybe this scene just isn't that popular because, you know, she's not really looking at the the camera. She's turned to the side, so I don't know. I just, I figured it would be something that would maybe sell on the quicker side, and I just can't seem to sell it. So those are <laughs> ten things currently that I have listed for $9.99. A lot of them have a decent amount of watchers and I can't sell any of them at the $9.99 that I have them listed for. 
So I'm either going to have to lower my prices on these items or just say, you know what, enough is enough. These have been sitting for too long and I need to just donate them or try and sell them at a yard sale or flea market for like a dollar or less. So those are just some things. I could do more of these types of videos if you found this in any, in, in any way, shape or form helpful or useful or anything like that. You have to let me know down in the comments if you have sold any of these items or if you yourself have something that you thought would sell no problem that have been sitting just for a very long time. You're not quite sure why. So this was just some of my inventory that I just feel like I can't move. And I feel like $9.99 isn't that much, but maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too much for these items. So you'll have to let me know um, what you think or maybe like what you think I should have these things listed at. Like if something specific, like if you sold it for a certain amount that's less than what I have it listed for, then let me know and maybe I can do some changing in my pricing and that kind of thing. So I just thought this would be an interesting video to do, kind of like go over some of my old inventory. I was having fun like taking it out of where like I keep everything and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I still have some of this stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just let me know down in the comments what you thought and if you'd like to see any more of these types of videos. So I will see you guys next time.